Hi everyone, how was your day? I hope everything is alright. Michael speaking from the recovery team back with another useful tutorial and today we'll talk about SD cards and I bet everybody has experienced this kind of issue. You, you plug in the card in your Windows computer and nothing happens and that's a big problem. So today's tutorial is about how to solve such a problem. Let's get started. Mm, not being able to recognize an SD card. Yeah, that kind of happens from time to time on your computer, likely, and that's why you're here. So yes, we're going to talk about the possible reasons because there could be a number of them. Before that, I kindly remind you to subscribe to the channel for more practical data solutions. Easy to follow, easy to execute. Now, why such an SD card might not be recognized? Well, Start with the fact it might be not properly plugged until the end, which very often happens. Could be that it's kind of a loose connection, so make sure that the slot is kind of all right. Could be an outdated driver. Could be that there is no assigned drive letter. Well, could be something worse, like uh, physically damaged, but unless physically damaged, all these SD cards can be easily recovered, and I'm going to guide you through all these little and easy to follow steps. Our first method is based on common sense, but before I go any further in the video, uh, let me remind you that all these solutions can vary from person to person, so uh, some of these options can work for some of you, I guess other methods would work for other people. Now, uh, the easiest thing to do, and that would be really the best news, that could be that the problem is caused by the card reader itself. Sometimes you need to push this SD card just a little bit more in order to make sure that it's properly inserted. Sometimes if it feels loose, then most likely there's a problem with the card reader. In that kind of situation, just look for another computer with a card reader and try over there. And if it's working, clearly the problem is the reader on your original computer. Uh, if we talk about a laptop, replacing a card reader on a laptop is a bit of a difficult exercise, but there's an easy solution. Just buy one of those cheap USB to micro SD or USB to SD card readers, which cost only cents, and they're going to fix the problem for you. Another possible solution, if you're absolutely certain that your SD card is fine and that your card reader is all right, could be that is a software-based problem, namely the letter of the drive. In case you plug in your SD card and it doesn't show up on Windows, let's say Windows 10, let's figure out how we can change or create a new drive letter. First thing to do is to open disk management. We can open it from the run menu or press the Windows X button and just hit the disk management. I'll show you the run command, just type disk mgmt.msc that's going to open the disk manager for you. Find out which from all of these devices is your SD card, right click and select change drive letter and path. Make sure that you add a new letter to your SD card and voila, the problem is fixed. Option number three, check disk. It's an extremely impressive and powerful built-in utility. And very often it's the cure for memory cards not being recognized, likely because they have an issue with their file system. Usually happens if you do not use the safely remove feature or probably something else happens to the file system. So let's open the command prompt and run it as administrator. You can do that by hitting the start menu, run, type CMD. Once we go there, we type CHKDSK, then we type the drive letter, we type slash F. If none of these things so far are working and if you're still unable to see your SD card in your computer, well, we're already on the software side, so the next logical thing to do is to try to update your drivers. Sort of a desperate step, but it's worth trying. So, locate your device manager, expand the disk drive section, and find out where your SD card reader is. Click the update driver, and if you're lucky, your Windows is going to install new drivers. Alternatively, if you have a laptop again, or just a brand new computer, make sure to go to your system board manufacturer's website and search explicitly for drivers about SD card readers. Another possible solution, which is again software-based, could be that this thing has virus or malware. Well, imagine you've copied files and connected it two weeks ago to your friend's computer, which apparently is infected, 
And now, could be a virus inside which is masking the drive letter and probably infecting your computer as you try these things. So I guess it really makes sense to run a virus scan. And furthermore, if a virus is detected, it could be that this virus is preventing your computer from reading the card. So yeah, that's definitely worth trying. At the end, we've tried five different solutions and if one of them works for you, that's really great. Now, the next important step, check your SD card and figure out whether there is some data missing because likely if there was a check disk, if there was a virus or something else, could be that some of the files inside have accidentally disappeared. And this is exactly where we're bringing Recover It into the game, our award-winning software which can help you to recover your accidentally lost data. So let's go ahead and see how it works. As usual, we begin by connecting the SD card to the computer. Open Recover It, make sure to point to that external drive and select the Start button, which is going to initiate the scanning of the SD card for all the possibly deleted files. So make sure to be patient. Once the scan process is over, what you can do is to have a look at all these files and figure out which one are supposed to be recovered. There's a very easy to use preview feature, so if we talk about videos or photos, you can easily find out what exactly is this photo about. Select the files that you need to recover, click the recover button, point to the destination folder where all that is going to be recovered and tip here is not to use the very same micro SD card, hit the recover button and you're done. So that was it. Your SD cards now are safe. Five super easy to follow tutorials yet extremely powerful. And in case you encounter some data loss accidentally or not, Recover It is here to help you and to recover all the files that you need. Well, most of these steps could be applied also on USB drives, so they're probably going to make an episode especially for them. Uh, in case you have any follow up questions, the comments below is the right place. If you enjoy the content, hit that like button, help us, support us. Subscribe to the channel for more practical data solutions and sometimes giveaways, other good news and just having some fun with recovering data. I'm Michael, looking forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye!